management. This one we are taking the money, this is a carry man. I can't even throw the MPC away for the CPS. Better to say, I will come and do my best, Nigeria. Please support me. Bless how we will work together. Oh, yeah, stop defending him. Please. I am not. I am not. I'm defending him a lot. If your ministers don't work, vote them out of office. If the governors don't work, vote them out of office. Well, I'm hoping that you can educate yourself enough. I think a black man oh, is a No, don't say that. You're suffering from post traumatic uh, disorder. You're traumatized. How do you say that the world is survival of the fittest? Hear the news, air your views, and we'll tell you what's new. Your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Informing and entertaining is what we do. Aren't you sick of blaming someone? Aren't you even sick of a situation? Sometimes, even if your president wants to do the best for you, they will tell him, my friend, don't do that. If things do just go away like, you know, you... Tune in round the clock for the best of radio programming. It's Nigeria's station for talk. Let's talk. The home of entertaining conversations. I personally think Liverpool of last season that lost the title better. were better. That's my, pers- my personal better. opinion. You're listening to G. This Jimmy, this right here on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info. Morning, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Digest, the last for the week. And happy Good Friday to you all. So today, being a holiday, we'll take it nice and easy. I can't wait to get out of here because I think by now, at least one free John, one of my free John visits should be should be ready. Free John should be ready in certain areas. I'm likely to drive through the Bangboshi area, you know, just to get a feel. Um, those of you who are Lagosians, you know, lived in Lagos all your lives, you will know the feel. Unfortunately, things are not the same again. The feel that you get Easter, the days that you look out for on Easter, um, almost all the days really. Good Friday is to. Around nine ten in the morning, you see the various spots. I want cocoa. You know what, what they call cocoa. I want cocoa. Not they don't bring out all the the basia. Basia is for frying and don do and all these and uh, yeah, small chops. Yeah. Uh-huh. They, they, they have another name for it, but I don't want to stay any. <laughs> this is what is something, but that not. But but for free John, you will see. I'm going to drive through Bangbushi now and. Um, you will see the pots, women with tiny rapper, you know, with the pots on my shifty. They will be fanning the uh, uh, the co-pot and whatever. And, and by if you pa- drive past place again, by f- three, four, you will see elderly people under the canopies in front of their family houses. They are eating frijon and fish. Um, frijon mainly is made of because um, Auntie B was asking me downstairs. That uh, okay, wait be free John. When uh, I go sit down, you just come Lagos. <laughs> free John is mainly black beans. I think the main ingredient is ah, I need to call my sister or oh, my sister Labisi. Uh, I need to call her. I will call her. But it's mainly uh, black beans and and um black beans and coconut. It's not a wagon, is it? It's not a wagon, you no, it's not a wagon. No, it's not a wagon. It's a wadudu. A wadudu. Uh, put her on the on the other distance. Tell her she's live on air before she says something. Hello, ma. Hello, ma. You're live on air on Nigeria Info with Jimmy Jesu. Hello. 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 Live is the morning. Morning. What what is free John? What is free John? How? Just tell us what is the cooking of free John. What what does it? Call? Is it not black beans? What to do? It is black beans. You have to cook it for hours. And, and uh, coconut blend. water. You cook it for hours. You cook it first. Yes. Then you blend it with coconut, coconut, raw coconut, konofuru, and some other spices like. Um, Cinnamon or nutmeg, you blend it together. Okay. Then you sieve the water. You sieve it. After blending, you sieve the water. Yeah. Then you cook. I see. Uh, okay, so I, I just wanted you to educate us on that. Of course, you eat it with stew, Abby. Is it a special stew? Yes. 
Yes, fried fish stew. Fried with fish crab. stew. And crab. Yes, and crab. Don't you know? Uh, and prawns. Thank you very much, my sister. Okay, so there you are. Wow. So it's too late now for you to want to cook it yourself, but just so you can have an idea. And it's only done once once a year. Um, though at parties sometimes you have people serving with John. She forgot to add that when you want to eat it, you need to get some gari. There's a special gari, gari jebu. You warm you warm the gari itself and then you put it on top of it. Ah, you see, you don't know anything. Where are you from? I'm from Lagos State. You're from Lagos State. Where in Lagos State? It's your sir. Uh, it's yours, I know, Nico Drozzi. Okay, today, today is a happy day. Today is a holiday. We will leave a lot of politics behind. Today is the president's birthday, but he said he doesn't want any celebration of any sort. Um, it is said that he's 72 today. Of course, you know, there's always been a controversy about how, but that's neither here nor there. Fact one, he's the president, and two, he must have a birthday, so today is his birthday. The issue of how old he will leave, that's a story for another day, but he says he's 72, and 72 it is. So happy birthday to him, we wish him all the best, um, and, and we pray for him, uh, because he's the driver of the vehicle all of us are in. Um, so we have no other choice but to wish him, whichever party we are, whether we are in Labour or we are in PDP or we are, we are in a bus that is driven by Mr. President. And to Mr. Tompolo, please, next time, take sensitivities into account when you do things. The president had said he doesn't want any form of uh, celebrations. You took front page papers in all the newspapers to congratulate him. What point are you making? The man said we shouldn't. That is, it's a time for sober reflection. And to the newspapers who carried that, uh, the jury is out. Uh, it could be a subject of a debate whether they should have carried it or not. But I think that they say discretion is the better part of valor. If the president says he doesn't want something, uh, you should tell the guy who is advertising that, didn't you hear the instruction? But then again, it's juicy, <laughs> that money. That advert alone will be close to 10M, if not more. And uh, at these hard times, I think the newspaper just grabbed it and said that he will sort himself out later. Okay, so we are going to have an open mic. I, I'm not in any good mood. In any mood. No, I'm in a good mood, but I'm not in any mood to... Um, go into long-term discussions, but what is it, one of the dark spots of the holiday, two things, is the plight of the journalists um, who was picked up. Uh, that, that, that upset me completely this morning. Not did it just upset me. Uh, it, it occurred to me that um, it, it could be anybody, and that's why we should, we should show some, uh, you know, some concern at, at, at things like this. Um, let me read his story to you. Um, this is a gentleman called Sheikh Mwala Tunji, who is the editor of the First News Online, uh, and he recounted his ordeal with the DIA. The DIA is our own replica of America's CIA. Uh, and, and, and he said that someone came, in, came, someone came claiming to be from the military. He, identi he identified himself as Colonel Lawal. Immediately, he seized my phones. I went to the room to dress up. By the time I got downstairs, I saw soldiers inside the compound taking positions. There were positions in his compound just to arrest one man. Outside the gate, I saw about three vehicles with Air Force personnel, Army, Defense Intelligence Agency, others, all fully armed. I was handcuffed and taken straight to the office of the National Air Defense Corps where we waited for three hours. I did not know what they were waiting for. I did not know that they were waiting for an aircraft to pick me to Abuja. Can you believe that? When the aircraft landed, I was blindfolded and moved to the aircraft, and we landed in Abuja shortly. I was leg coughed also. They removed my clothes, and I was left with my boxers. I was taken to cell 9. There, I was left in leg chains and handcuffs, and at a point... One of the officers came and tightened the right leg and the right hand, and I was there growling in pain. And they did not loosen it until about two or three days later. Oh, my God. What an experience. Up till now, I could still feel the pains in my hands and legs. Olantudi said those behind his ordeal, now listen to this. He claims that those behind his ordeal were close to government. That frightened me. 
because apparently he's believing that they were not government officials, that this wasn't a government initiative, but that they were close to government. And he said they were asking me questions about certain stories that First News had carried. They first told me that I was one of those abusing the Chief of Defense Intelligence, Major General Emmanuel Undi and Ye. Undi and Ye. They did not say much about that. Um, okay, so this guy has it. I think I've seen that First News. I think I've seen it once or twice. I've come across it. And apparently it looks like some people were... This, that's, see, that's the part of our job that people need to appreciate. Our lives are on the line. This gentleman, they kept looking for him. The minister of uh, uh, information too had to intervene to find out where he was because when they took him away, nobody knew where they are taking him. I mean, in a country like ours where there is law and order, like I said this morning at 7.30, we all need to condemn this act. We need to. If there's a case against him, pick him, pick him up, set him up for trial, and, and, and this, this is uncalled for. It's unnecessary. And somebody is putting his life on the line here because, you see, the thing is, torture is a serious crime internationally. Our preachers should learn that. Those who were doing a lot of things during Abacha's time, some of them know where they are now. So they, these people also need to understand that, okay, so you're, you're in government today, you can use all the paraphernalia, to, you know, either which way to your heart's delight. But there's always a day after. There's always a day after. We will see how the president reacts to this. Um, because in, in all honesty, this has come to the highlight now because it's, it's, it's a journalist that is involved, obviously. And, and, and of course, being the constituency, you know, there'll be a lot of um, whatever what, the buzz around it. But this is not the way to go. No matter the anger that you have, at a time when all of us are trying to support the military, and this brings a wedge. Uh, because at some point we'll protect our own with the knowledge that it could be anybody the next time. Uh, this, this is completely unacceptable. But we'll, let's see how the government reacts to this. We'll open up our lines 0700-993-993-993 and 0201-465-7190. Now let's be very careful. Um, first of all, today is Easter. I'd rather know. I wish I didn't even bring it up, but the thing is, it's the news of the day, and this job has to get done. So let's just watch what we say and do not get over uh, over excited and whatever. Okay. All right. So we take our first caller for the day. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Uncle JD. Morning. Hello, sir. Good morning. Morning. I can hear you. Who's speaking? Hello. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Hello. I can hear you. I, that must be Pastor Ladipo. I can hear you. Hello. Hello. Okay, pick the next one. Hello, good morning. Hello, Uncle JD. Morning. Yeah, morning. This is Mama Kurodu. Let me go. Hello. Uh, Lara will not be here. Yes, Mama Kurodu. Just want to wish you happy Easter. Thank you very much. I you want to come by and see. Kole gori omini. The free job. Uh, the boat route <laughs> has been closed for some time. Now. I know, I know, I, I know. But I appreciate, Sheriff and I appreciate the offer. I can speak on his behalf on that. Okay. Thank you very you much, Mama. Amima, thank you very much, man. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello. Yes, morning. Hello, Uncle Jody. Good morning, sir. Morning. Hello. Morning, I can hear you. Hello, good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Morning. Uh, this is Pastor Larry. Pastor Larry, uh, yes, that's you. Go on. Calling from Farigong. Uncle Jimmy, in the spirit of Easter, where is Daddy uh, Yata? It was how he disappeared. Hmm. Thank God for a minister that cried out on behalf of this young man. You know, a lot of dissenting voices, especially from the last administration, some of them just disappeared, especially journalists. Yes. It's painful that that constituency, somebody needs to start speaking for them. Hmm. Somebody must start crying out seriously for them. There are those who are overzealous, 
um, government officials. They are close to the government. They act as if they are acting on behalf of their boss. And they overdo things. That the other disappeared from his house. To mm. date, nobody knows the whereabouts of that young man. It's painful. Hmm. God save this thing. Amen. I, 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 it's 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 uh, it's um, just like uh, Pastor Lazipo said. Um, um, this these are some of the challenges um, that that we face in the course of this job, and you're always reminded by everybody. Yeah, yeah. Apart from threats and all kinds of things, you're always reminded. Uh, but if you have a calling to do this job and to do it right, you leave yourself in the hands of God. Um, nothing goes on forever. Uh, you leave yourself. I mean, we have the same, sometimes the same danger level as that of judges. Luckily, judges have some kind of uh, kind of protection we don't have. We just leave ourselves in the hands of the Almighty, and and um, that, that that's it. Yeah, this has been going on for years. Oh, those of us who are in the Abacha years, uh, we know what we went through. It it, it wasn't funny at all. Uh, but where were the operators of those days? The majors, the colonels, the dreaded colonels and majors. Where were they? It's, it's important that those who, who, who you know, within the military or whatever, who um, take part in these things, they need to take cognizance of the fact that there's always a day after. And some of these things, torture is an international crime. You know, nobody, uh, whilst, whilst, you know, even uh, we, we understand that these things happen sometimes at international level, you know, spies and so on and so forth. But then the whole world frowns at it. And, and like I said, there's always a day after. We'll get to that sometime. Let's pick another call. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Uncle JB. Morning. Hello. Morning. Hello. Morning, I can hear you. Hello. 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 Good morning. Morning. Oh, the lines are bad. I can hear you. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, good. Hello. I can hear you. Good morning, sir. Morning. This is Malik speaking. Oh, Malik. How are you? Yeah, Uncle Jimmy. Mm -hmm. The reason is that we can't hear you. But I can, I'm far away from my radio, so I, can, I know you can hear me. Anyway, okay. Uncle Jimmy, you see what just happened? Mm. The president himself ran away during a battered government due to the military effort, right or wrong. <laughs> yes, you're right. So there's no way he would tell me that he does not know what happened. Every information about the country gets to his table. If, according to what I say, you know, before they picked me, mm -hmm. allegedly, if the chief of staff is involved in this thing and all the complaints they get about your chief of staff, what are you supposed to do? Mm -hmm. And now they kidnap this man. We don't know if there's a ransom I've been paid for they release him. We don't know. No, 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 no. It's they been. It, to oh, him, what, what issue? Uh, this man what issue are you? They release him. But for me, if I was a member of the Guild of Editor, by now, mm. we could have bombed the newspaper and bring con concrete evidence. Let's go to court over lying. Well, there's a lot they know about. Uh, well, it's I think. It's a threat for them to keep quiet. Okay, okay. I'll have the to. The NSNT was our office has collected a huge amount of budget. What have they changed in the country? Good uh, morning. Morning. What what you have said is completely at variance of what we are discussing here, because I don't see what what concerns the chief of staff in all this. Obviously, he must have been talking about something else. Maybe he was listening to another radio station and got his number wrong because it was at variance. As what we are saying is that this journalist was picked up. He's been released. Okay, we didn't say he was kidnapped. He's been picked up. He's been released, and I don't know any issue about budget. Or <laughs> budget or anything, so uh, he must be talking about something else. Let's go on to the next one. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Morning. Yes, my name is Abednego. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, my friend. How are you? Or oh, is it Happy Good Friday? Which one? Where is Easter? Easter is Easter. Ah, okay. Good morning to your guests as well and everyone. I have no guests. I'm alone. Ah, okay. Mm. That fine lady I heard that word before. Say what you want to say quickly, my friend. Stop looking at fine lady. <laughs> Well, I also want to wish you a happy Easter. Thank you. And uh, to thank you for all the amazing work you keep doing. All right. You know, God your birthday is loaded. God bless so, I know that one is loaded. If, 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 if I don't for, know my birthday, uh, what would you You know, you're the one that taught me in, in my school now. Everybody, I tell them, I'm a hanker. 
Victor, I say I learned that from Uncle Jimmy. You learned that from Uncle Jimmy. You know, we are the greatest. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm telling you, I'm on my hand. Don't worry, it's your birthday tomorrow. I'll be on my hand. It's not tomorrow. It's next week. No, no, no. When I want to tell people. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we've got to take a short break. <laughs> we've got to take a short break. We still have a minute. Can we take one more call? Okay, so we'll take one more call. Hello, good morning. Mr. Uncle Jimmy, good morning. Morning. <laughs> My name is Olumu, you are calling from Nigeria. Yes. Uh, please, can you please pass give a to discuss this network? It's happening in Ghana. I didn't take it easy with them. Eh? I buy that of 2,000 Nella. We mm. buy that at 4,000. One week. They... Can we discuss about them? Okay, morning? okay, we will. We'll find time. We'll put it in our schedule. We'll, we'll, we'll find time and maybe see if we can invite somebody from the one of the uh, um, whatever to give us. It is true that the network hasn't been the best. In, in recent times, but there must be the last week or so, the week before I heard there was some under some cable some cable, I got to go okay, I got to take a short break, I'll continue when I come back Alright, no fam, my name is brother Shaggy, aka Mr. Rob and I can tell you, say Rob, they deliver fast and long lasting relief for muscle aches, joint pains and symptoms of cold and cata rubbing pain out Adron Homes don't make life better for you and me. With the better Easter package. Adron Easter better, better life offer. Yes, so time don't come where you and me go become landlord. With Adron Easter better life offer, you go enjoy 30 to 40% discount on any land where you buy this season. With as low as 50,000 naira to 3 million naira initial deposit and spread balance between 24 to 36 months. No be holy that all. Oh. You go enjoy many boku boku gifts like turkey, bag of rice, washing machine, smart TV, big cow, and many more. Sense and condition day oh. Our estate day for Lagos, Ogun, Oshun, Ekiti, Oyo, Abuja, Nasarawa, Niger, and Joss. You fit also subscribe for daily payment plan. For more story, call this number 080 or 080 Homes. Building cities, communities, and homes. That your day and have a good time. He won't cream on where you need to have the break time. He won't cream on. It's not tea, but for Garita. He won't cream on. Cream on. He won't cream on. It's sweet. Sweet. allow offensive smells hijack your productive day. Take charge of the air around you with Swiss Flower range of air fresheners. Air freshener. Swiss Flower Air Freshener. Ah, <sighs> what an air of freshness. Ah, the drama. The suspense. The emotions. The gang gang moments. Don't miss out on Nollywood movies and web series on YouTube with the YouTube Buffet Plan from MTN. You can enjoy over 10 hours of Nollywood content made for you. Shapali dial star 312 star 800 hash to activate the YouTube Buffet Plan from MTN and start enjoying. YouTube made for you. Some call it a disorder, a disability. Having a skin with two distinct colors may seem to others like the end of the world. Not me. I'm a babe. A speck. A 10 out of 10. The unstoppable. The beautiful with lush hair. Lush hair. Be beautiful. As a business owner, health insurance companies don't use me clean dirty way way. But I like the people where they work for me. So I decide say, I go try them one more time. After I don't talk to some of my friends where get business, then tell me say, now nah, Reliance HMO them they use. True, true. They don't even tell me half of what them they enjoy. Hmm. Come see your bonke benefits. Where Reliance HMO package give me? Chai! The customer service that 24-7 they work. Immediately my staff enter hospital, send a Reliance 
they use then they use now sharp sharp then go attend to them you know stop for deal them give us this app where we don't even need to go hospital for simple things it shocked me and i don't the happy scenes you fit call 0700 7354-2623 for more information Introducing the Save and Win Pali Promo 3. This season, we're giving away 89 million naira. Don't be left out. Save 10,000 naira or more in your union bank account and perform at least five transactions monthly to qualify. And you could be the lucky winner of a brand new GAC SUV plus other exciting prizes. And it's open to new and existing customers. To open an account, visit unionbanking.com or download the Union Mobile app or walk into any branch near you. Terms and conditions apply. Union Bank, your simpler, smarter bank. Attention drivers in Lagos, are you ready for rewards? InDrive is giving out 10,000 air fuel vouchers to 1,200 new drivers. Download the InDrive app, sign up to drive, and take 25 rides in the following two weeks before May 25th. The start date is counted as the moment driver registers and there is only one price per person. The InDrive online passenger transportation aggregator is not a taxi service. Find more information at www.indrive.com. In Nigeria, the weather can change in an instant, just like life itself. Even when you are caught in a heavy downpour or hammer tan has left your skin dry, there's one thing that never changes. The restoring power of Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. Because we all know when hammer tan strikes, if you are not protecting your skin, it cracks. So do your lips and no one wants that. So... Use Vaseline Petroleum Jelly to keep your skin healthy, smooth, moisturized, and protected all day long so you can embrace every season with confidence. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Your number one station for talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Daily Digest with Jimmy Disney. Yes, welcome back um, to the Daily Digest with Jimmy Disu. Today is Friday. Um, today is Friday, and um, tomorrow I have a young. I have a young. Um, no, no, no. That's next week. I, I remember what I wanted to what I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, so the next story we'll look at here that came up this morning that. Um, rattled me is a story that involves uh, Debola Daniel, uh, the son of my friend, Benda Daniel, who uh, FAAN shot the KF, you know, uh, uh, sorry, who wanted to use KFC, wanted to go to KFC at the airport, and uh, it was alleged that one of the staff said that wheelchairs are not allowed here. Uh, well, the KFC have since apologized, and the Airport authorities have closed down KFC for now. I'm sure they'll open it by today or tomorrow. Uh, but what, what is most important is the apology has been made, but my problem is this. Um, I'd like, I've just been wondering wh what would have brought about the woman at the, you know, at the chance of seeing that wheelchairs will not be... I, I'm wondering, was it a direct instruction that wheelchairs are not allowed? I doubt it. I still maintain that I doubt it. It could have been something she probably took on by herself. Uh, so what kind of thinking would produce such a, uh, uh, su such a remark? What, what, what kind of thinking? Uh, and, uh, and I believe it's one of the reasons why we need to have an orientation agency, you know, that, um, that would put our minds. Because, look, the minds of Nigerians are very, very hardened now. Our minds are a bit warped uh, from some of the things that we do, some of the things that we say. The sensitivity has been thrown out of the window. Even this incident now has been twisted on his head. You know, and, and some of those who maybe have their, which is okay, have their beef with his father, they forget that this gentleman is a full-grown adult. Uh, and, and, and so if you have a problem with his dad, you shouldn't bring it on the son. 
that's the most polite way I can, I, I, I can put it. But all of us should look at the principle, and I'm saying that uh, some people say maybe he should sue them, and I'm saying that no, this could provide an opportunity for him to use his own position, privileged position, to start an advocacy as to how people in his condition, you know, people with this condition and other similar conditions, how they should be, they should be treated. Now, I'm just trying to think, and I want anybody to correct me. I want to think of anywhere in Lagos that has wheelchair access. Anywhere in Lagos. There would be. And I'd be glad to know. I want to think. Let me tell you. Even the buses in the United Kingdom have wheelchair access. If somebody is on a wheelchair, the bus parks properly. It tilts a little bit. They have a platform. Where the driver will come down, make the platform or the trains, make the platform available. Because somebody in a wheelchair is a complete human being, just like you. And all of us forget one thing. All of us, there's a possibility that all of us could could be found in that kind of position until the day we die. Could be from accident, could be from, name it, so many things. But we have an attitude towards uh, um, people who have challenges. We, we have that attitude. I want to be careful as to as to how to describe because I, you know some of the words that we used in the past have been changed, but I haven't followed suit. So let me just say who have been challenged. Uh, um, we, we don't seem to even how many facilities do we have that can accommodate blind people? It's not just wheelchair access, blind people. Um, that doesn't seem to be in our radar at all. And, and therefore, for, for that woman, um, did she know the import of what she was saying? Is, does she have any empathy within her? You know, because I, I would have thought that the opposite would have happened. You would have had to run to the door. So let me help you, sir. Let me adjust it this way. It just said from across the counter that, um, uh, that, that wheelchair, so on and so forth. I think that in this discussion, I want to look away from the person in particular because people are bringing all kinds of political insinuations into it. But let's take our minds away from those and look at the principle involved. Because again, like I always say, it could have been anybody. Yeah, Mrs. Maffei was here some months back to describe the pain she went through, going through this same airport that, that we are talking about, where the lifts were not working and she had to be carried up the escalator. So we'll open up our lines as usual, and uh, please note the sensitivity of, of what you say. Uh, there's a human being involved. I I'm sure he won't even be too happy that he's a subject that's been spoken about in public, but he is the one, the one, he's one of the few people we can now use for advocacy to make sure that we take absolute care of our people and our people who have these challenges. Okay, so let's take let's take the let's take uh, one or two phone calls. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, morning Uncle Jimmy. Morning. How are you doing? Fine. Aku Aku is So um, then I missed the fridge on that you talked about. Like, I haven't. Seen, I haven't. Seen. I, I I I missed it. Please, when when you get your please just keep mine. I haven't seen any. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's it's like, uh, I've got a ring call. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. So, so um, firstly, I'd like to say that um, I wish everyone a priest and I'm the president of my country. I wish him happy birthday also. Mm -hmm. So then, secondly, I'd like to talk about this issue you raised. To be honest with you, like I live in the United Kingdom here, and I can tell you for a fact that mm. everyone, regardless of whatever you are, wherever yes, you are, yes. you are, you are, you are, you are like you are human. The best possible, you are equal, equal like you are all equal, regardless of yes. whatever way. That is why when you go for an interview, for example, they will put it in that one of the questions that if you think you need any accommodation, you should you should tick a box or probably inform them so that yes. they can make arrangements for you. Yes. For example, where I work our park, car park ordinarily we have parking space for people who have disabilities so that they can get ex easier access exactly. to work yes. yes and so like several places i was saying it in uh, on Marian's show yesterday when people were saying oh it's because he's um, the government the son of the government and i was thinking why do we all think like circles yeah, why exactly. do we all think like that exactly. it is it, it, it is a societal thing because oh. all of us don't have respect for other people we feel that are less 
of us that other people will feel that they are not complete. That's the way we think about them, and it shows how we think also. Because if you can say it because he's the son of a governor, does he, does he not have the right to exist? Those are the things and, we have and, to and, and, correcting and, 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 and telling people about. Apart from that, I don't particularly like um, the idea you know, of describing a full-grown adult as the son of somebody. Somebody, you understand? Unless there's a direct, there's a direct relevance. This has nothing to do with this. Oh, of, okay, you let, let me tell you for a fact. My uh, my colleague at work, Ento Joko yeah. Similen, she uses yeah. um, walkie stick to work. Yeah. Yes. And you've got to give her respect. Sometimes when she wants to make coffee, you are just tell her, ah, Julie, just bring it. I'll make it for you. Or sometimes mm -hmm. the next, Leslie would go, ah, Leslie, let me make coffee for you. You give her the, the uh, like the treatment, every, like so that everybody feels special. Did they, did they, she, like I told her, oh, I was from Nigeria. She was like, oh, this she got me a chocolate the next morning. So just to make uh, right, point to, noted. Just to, thank, when you make people happy, you are also happy yourself. That's th the thing. Thank you very much. God bless all of us. Thank you very much. Uh, basically, I want to use this as a stepping stone to advocacy. We've been playing lip service to this issue of taking, uh, looking after those who are physically challenged. We've been. I think that, um, and sometimes God works in this way to make a prominent person to push him to see. I'm going to try and get in touch with uh, Debola and try to convince him, you know, if we can use him as some form of advocacy. Maybe um, also use his father, who, of course, is a senator and a one time governor. If we can use, use his position to push for this. I'll try and get in touch with his dad, too. That, that, that one is the easiest of it all and see if that can happen. But I do apologize to him that he had to, or sympathize with him, actually, that he had to go through this. It's not easy. Let me, I will tell you this. I, I've been very close to somebody who's been physically challenged, and he was even telling on me not to talk of the person. It's not an easy thing. Indeed, sometimes as, as, as you get older, you need to sometimes see me Sometimes when you go to certain places, you look at the staircase, you look at this and that. Because one, sometimes, you know, we have all kinds of funny buildings. If you go, if you have to go to Lagos Island, you have some houses, the steps are not, they are not of equal, um, how would I put it now, of equal height. What am I saying? Even in my own house, the back staircase, which I, which I failed to use, there's one step that is higher than usual. You know, when you're going down the stairs or going up the stairs, your, your body goes in rhythm. So it's not easy, to, to, you know, it's not easy to navigate yourself through the things that you have to do. Okay, so let's take another caller again. Hello, good morning. Good morning, uh, Dr. Apostle Jimmy Diesel. Ah, mawa, yama jemile niyo. Yes, good morning. Hello? Uh, you give me one day off. I added one day myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is fresh. I do you with you yesterday. I don't, uh, no problem, I don't think you, you go on. No problem. No problem, my brother. We are one. We are one, yes. Uh, quick one. For that journalist. Yes. Dr. Apostle Jimmy, I've been talking about institution, not strong men. We mm. need to build strong institution. If there's strong institution, in Nigeria, do you think that guy, those uh, military or DS, whatever, will do that? Look mm -hmm. at what happened in Senegal. If not for strong institution, do you think that young man will win that yes, election? Yes, yes. They have seven people who has the final say. So please, Nigerians, let's try and fight for strong institution. Hmm. All these strong men we are building will not do us any good. And I want to remind the bed nigo, Uncle Jimmy no biole hang called Bemu. Uncle Jimmy, you remember now? Hmm. Your own hand cock by Mufulu. <laughs> so I want to let a bed nigga know about that. And count down to your bed there, Uncle Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, this bed is now. Wow. <laughs> and it's not a round figure yet. <laughs> okay, so let's let's take another one. Hello, good morning. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. I can hear you. Good morning. Morning. Okay, that's a bad line, really. So let's go now. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Morning. This is Ms. Zuboli calling. Yes, I know, Ms. Zuboli. Happy Easter. I wish you the same, sir. Yes. Uncle Jimmy, honestly, this issue about people living with disabilities, it's a, it's a sad tale. This is the reality. Oh, the yes, 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 yes. On a daily basis. Yes. So I don't want to be emotional this morning, 
What people would say is because it happened to a prominent person. Uncle Jimmy, many people living with disabilities are living, you know, in, in solitary silence. They don't know yes. who to cry to. They don't know who to express themselves to. I can't take my son out to fun places because when we get there, how do we maneuver? How do we negotiate mm. the place? And so we try to create a serene atmosphere inside the house. It will be like, mommy, I want to go out. But I can't because Nigeria does not offer such. It's mm. so disheartening. And that is the reality. Oh, my, is there an outcast, you know, like that, downtrodden? Are we, they are not less privileged, Uncle Jimmy. They have a right to live, a right to existence, a yes. right to an entire body. They are also humans, Uncle Jimmy. The stigmatization, the everything on a holistic angle and level. It's crazy out there. After one more to bam, it's problem. Even the person beside you will look at you like Shalom lo daileisha, and you just ask yourself, why did I, why did I bring this child into this world? But it's not you. That is how he he is wired. So yes. nobody should say because he's a prominent. But Uncle Jimmy, many people, many people, even those that have um, albino, albinism, everybody, special people are living with different. Like different problems on a daily basis. Mm. Thank God this one came to the limelight, and that is why we're talking about this. All of the silent voices crying now that they cannot even. Uncle Jimmy, how many people employ them in their organizations? Somebody was chastising Miranda in Nigeria Info. I'm, in Nigeria Info, I've been there a couple of times, and you guys have provisions there for the, uh, people living with disabilities. But how many companies mm. are willing to go the whole nine years? to employ these special people. Uncle Jimmy, there's ability in disability. There's yeah. productivity in disability. Okay, thank you very much. Um, like, like I said, I think, I think that um, the advocacy really should be to start with the orientation. Uh, and we need to, that's why I, I keep insisting that I'd like to, I wish I could get somebody to probe the woman's mind. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. I wish I could get somebody that kind of mind that you see somebody with. I, I don't believe that KFC would say that nobody should come in, that no wheelchair should be allowed in the place. That's absurd. Maybe they haven't told them what to do if that happens. But I don't believe. I mean, what do you think? It's absurd. They wouldn't. I don't think it's. I don't it's, think, it's, yes. It doesn't really add up. I don't, it doesn't add up. I doubt it. Where those things could happen is where there's an issue of safety. I don't think they would have gone out of that way to... I think it's just maybe they also didn't sensitize their staff to the fact that if anybody has a disability, you give them some extra support. But that comes from the mind. Okay, now, so we go to churches, we go to mosques, we fast, we do all these things. What kind of mind do we have? What kind of mind do we have? And I remember there was a time we had an agency called MAMSA. You know, of all the people that have governed this country, the, one of the persons that I think that was prepared for governance and had a full-time agenda across the board was Babangida. It was, was during his time, if I remember, that MAMSA was created. And he was headed, I think, then by Jerry Ghana. Have you? No, you are not alive then. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? I keep thinking, I keep forgetting about the gap between the two of us. You are nodding your head. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and then we had an agency. So we started, so we need to have something like that with a very strong campaign, well funded. We need to turn the minds of our people around. We, to put it bluntly in street language, we have an element of wickedness in a lot of us. <laughs> We have kenimanistic attitude, and a lot of us suffer from dabintidaism. <laughs> Let me blow grammar now. <laughs> you know, we have K what we call kenimanistic. For those of you who speak Yoruba, ask your Yoruba name, but what is kenimanistic? It's taken from the word kenimani. Where kenimani simply means where, you, okay, for example, you buy a car and you don't want a neighbor. I mean, isn't it absurd that you you, you know you'd have something called a, a better that word in itself it connotes something I better pass my neighbor, and you can see it in our everyday lives. There's always competition to show that I'm heads and shoulders above everybody. 
That is one of Kenny Mani. So we suffer from Kenny Maniism. Dabintidaism is from the Yoruba word Dabintida. We are people who are, poof, let's say, at the ground level of any situation, rather than find a way to grow up to meet you, want to bring you down to meet them at that level. Those two, those are the two major evils <laughs> that we have. Can you imagine? I, I've been light-hearted about it because today is a holiday and, um, you know, I just like us. I don't want us to. So, I, you know, I, I would like to plead. I hope the president gets to listen to some of these programs. Of course, he won't have the time, but some of these things should be sent to him. Uh, and um, we need we need these things. Let me just plead with the at least let's start from Lagos State. If we could have an agency that teaches more, it's not politics. It's not teaching you how to obey. No, but little things like this, empathy, the things that our churches and mosques have failed to do, because within the churches and mosques now it's always about prosperity, how you will grow, how you will put your phone on and get alerts. How this and the, the, even the most some of the most I don't know any better. We we're only talking about progress, progress, progress. The human element is missing. That human element that connotes sympathy, that makes you be your brother's keeper, is completely gone. Everybody is in a rat race. How many people have stood at the bus stop and the damfo comes, and they move aside for an elderly person? How many people get up on their seats? For elderly people to sit, little little things like that, we don't. We've almost all become wild animals, like the Biafrans will say in the zoo. <laughs> Sometimes when I hear these Biafrans talking about the zoo, so I, I say to myself, these guys don't know how correct they are. They think they are making fun of us. But Nigeria is almost like an animal kingdom. We will tell ourselves that truth, and none of us is any better. We are all guilty. Because if you ask me, what have you done outside your job? What, what have you done? I probably won't be able to tell you anything. I'm consumed in trying to earn myself a living and keeping alive at my age. So we're all guilty in this thing. So it's not a matter of Jimmy this was abusing us, including me. So this is a time for repent. We need to show, if you have passion, if you have compassion in you, you think of your fellow human being. You don't need anybody to come and tell you what to do. If you sit down and you think, instead of listening to sermons about uh, 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 first fruit and all these things, if you listen to sermons about salvation, how to develop your soul, you don't need to be told what to do. Empathy will come from you, but the direction is completely different. Only God would save us. It's completely different. Everything we do, most of us, is for show. You want to go to church to show that I better pass my neighbor. Look at what you wear yourself. Even when we, when, even when we sometimes say that we, we are showing sympathy, we want to do. Well, okay, so it's your birthday. You want you say I want to give. No, I'm not in any party. I want to. I want to give. The way you are going to give, you go with the whole battalion of people and the photographer. You understand? When you could easily just stroll down there by yourself quietly. You, do you understand what I'm saying? It's it's it, it, it's it's very sad. Nine fifty two. I got to go. The daily digest is going to end now and. Um, Happy Easter to all of you. I'm looking at the time. It's 9.52. Hope rising. That means that latest by 12 o'clock, I would have tasted one free john. It was a free john, eh? Didn't the dickness cook a free john? I don't even what? know what it is. That's you don't know what it is. I'm going to throw you across the border to Ijebu. Ah. Honestly, I'd like go see and you, ah, you fall my hand. Moody, good morning, Jerry. <laughs> you fall my hand. Ah, you just came here empty-handed. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, you fall my hand. Maybe I should okay. follow you to eat it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, don't follow <laughs> me. I better pass you. I, I'm eating free John. You are not. <laughs> and please, if you are bringing, if you are bringing free John, I don't eat fish with small, small bone. No. Uh, I don't eat small. I don't like because I'm, I, have, I have a phobia for fish with fish. small bone. I will throw your fish away. Make sure it is the one with those big bones. You know, this is my John Lion. A John Son. A John Kuta. Kuta. What? What fishes do you have? I don't, I don't eat fish. You're going to get married soon. You, you better than how to eat fish. You mm. Cooking delicious for your in-laws. Mm. You want to I'll... cook kote for them? No, no, nah, I do eat fish. <laughs> there's no, kuta. I there's kuta. I think there's another fish they call. Is it a feni feni? No, uh, eh? sorry. A there's, one, no, there's one fish they call. I've forgotten. Hey. Is it kote? 
Madam, Madam, we could do call it. She will call in later and tell you the names of the Pala. fishes. I could not who is this in Shawa and Pala. I don't know. Those are the names I know. He won. I bet. <laughs> I better pass man. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. Guess what's coming up? Le- what's coming up next? Do you know? Yeah. Can you do what's up Lagos the way Feta does it? My throat is... Your throat is... Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> you probably break it to two. <laughs> no, what's up, Lagos? Okay, Gonna folks, I'll see you free. tomorrow at nine. See you again. Bye. <laughs> Three Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens.